What effect does the gas drilling industry have on our Susquehanna River? Water usage for gas drilling is consumptive. That means that water removed from the local streams and rivers will not return to the water cycle like rain or golf course irrigation. Where does the water come from? Stations are built alongside streams and rivers. Pumps are built or inserted into the water supply, like this one on Bowman's Creek in Wyoming County. Tanker trucks can fill up with water just like you would at a gas pump. These facilities are in remote locations as well as right next to homes. They are open 24 hours a day. This one is also a fish hatchery. The gas drilling operation consists of a pad with one to 10 wells. Each well requires three to six million gallons of water to frack it. Once the water has been mixed with chemicals, some toxic, it is blasted into the shale layer about a mile deep to allow gas to escape. This water then mixes with the brine water, radiation, and other substances that are naturally occurring in the ground. It is now called produced water. We need a moratorium so that we can get the science in to determine what is in this water that is killing their cattle. They're concerned over a long list of chemicals the Pennsylvania Department of Environmental Protection says is used in the drilling process. This industry animation shows millions of gallons of water and all those chemicals are pumped at high pressure deep into shale. About 10 to 40 percent of this produced water resurfaces. Some of it is disposed of in deep injection wells, and the rest is recycled to be used in more fracking operations. 90 to 60 percent of the chemical laden water is left in the ground at the well site forever, with no long term studies on what will happen to it. Over 2 billion gallons of produced water are injected daily into injection wells in the U.S. from the oil and gas industries. Studies are currently being done to see if these injection wells are causing earthquakes in the United States by lubricating fault lines. In Arkansas, some geologists think the disposal of wastewater from fracking may be leading to an incredible uptake in earthquakes more than 1,100 since September. The earthquakes are rattling the countryside in what's known as the Fayetteville Shale. Just since 2005, more than 3,000 gas wells have been drilled here, bringing thousands of jobs and billions in revenue to a dirt poor place. But at what cost? Sometimes accidents happen. But this gas drilling site in the northern tier, now people who live near here can only wonder about possible long-term effects of today's leak. It's our top story. We begin tonight with the latest information from that blowout at a natural gas drilling site in Bradford County. The Susquehanna River Basin Commission estimates that at the height of production, gas drilling in the Marcellus Shale Formation is expected to use about 28 million gallons of water per day. Other problems are popping up as well. The well water problems have become a sticking point for those who argue over the safety of natural gas drilling. But today we talk to people in Bradford County who say they've never seen anything like this. Investigators from the Department of Environmental Protection were in Bradford County trying to find answers to this. Bubbles coming out of the ground along the banks of the west branch of the Susquehanna River near Wyalusing. Neighbors are concerned it may be caused by methane gas coming from nearby natural gas drilling. The gas drilling industry is pumping money into the local community as a public relations ploy to appear to be a good neighbor and to divert attention away from the damage they are causing. Hundreds of people spent their day celebrating one of our area's biggest natural resources in Luzerne County, but some folks at Riverfest in Wilkesbury were not celebrating, rather spreading a message about natural gas drilling. Music, food, and great weather added to the atmosphere here in Nesbitt Park, but not everyone at Riverfest was having a good time. A group of protesters gathered on the bridge on West North Street demonstrating against the practice of hydraulic fracturing used by natural gas drillers. I know what's going to happen with the hydro fracturing and I have to do something to stop it. I don't feel I'm stopping progress. I feel I'm preventing an environmental catastrophe. 
Protesters say the Riverfest committee should not have accepted money for the event from natural gas companies Chesapeake and Williams Energy. They should take their money and put that money toward better drilling practices because quite honestly I don't consider them to be a good corporate or community citizen. The cumulative effects of gas drilling has made the Susquehanna River the number one endangered river in America. Our river is still healing from the coal mining operations from the last century. Can we afford to do this again?